Okay, here is the uh, today's uh, video, and why do I choose a receiver as my uh, preferred uh, preferred device to power my system? Well, it's very simple. First of all, we're in 2020, okay, and although this year everything is uh, falling into pieces, especially United States. Um, Nowadays, the technology has advanced tremendously, okay? And uh, a receiver, pretty much a receiver is the same as, a, as, as an integrated amplifier, except, you know, the tuner. But uh, this gives me flexibility for, uh, for enjoying a, a two-channel. And also, you know, when I fire my surround system, if I want to, you know, watch a movie or anything like that, I have the flexibility with a receiver that I cannot do with a dedicated uh, two-channel uh, amplifier or preamp. Why? Well, because the, the they don't have uh, multiple subwoofers and they don't have center channels, but a receiver does. Okay. Also, some people say, "Oh, a receiver is not pure enough." Is Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If, if you know how to work it, a receiver will do it, okay? How do I have this set up is very simple, okay? And I agree. With, with, some, with some of the guys, I agree that when you use a receiver by itself in a two-channel, uh, yes, it could be a little bit uh, weak. However, this receiver has pre-outs. And when you use a, uh, the pre-outs for a two-channel audio you can add an external amplifier okay my choice is parasound i love this parasound is the 821 plus and this one is a beast okay so i have the flexibility of listening to stereo with my receiver because again the pre-outs are to the parasound so the sound it is coming from the parasound okay now, also the receiver, it gives me the ability to either choose, you know, at least on Marantz, it gives me the ability to, to choose direct, pure directs, or MDAX. Me, personally, I prefer MDAX uh, over pure direct. Pure direct, people use it because it's going to shut down every single, you know, thing in here. And it's going to give that pure um, sound. Uh, but to me, it sounds like dull. It's in. It sounds not. It sounds not clear at all. Uh, to me, I kind of. It's. It, it, it's the same sound that produces Macintosh. I don't know. It's kind of. People call it warm. Again, I'm not saying bad things about Macintosh, but I just personally don't don't like the sound. Uh, I like MDAX. MDAX it gives you know a, a, a nice sound and uh very spacey and uh it's it, i like it better okay so again this gives me the flexibility to 2.2 channel because when i when i use it i use two subwoofers okay one is in there the other one is in here so i use it at 2.2 and then although this one has seven channels i only use three i only use the center channel and uh, main speakers and all that okay so definitely a receiver it's it's my choice and again you have the flexibility of having great surround uh, system or a pure stereo uh, uh, you know to music uh, channel now some of the guys if you want to be more pure more audiophile whatever well, if you have a receiver, you can add a, uh, a preamp that has a, a, a bypass. And you can just put the preamp in there and use the preamp directly to. But to me, that is not necessary. I'm very happy with the results that I have with this. And again, I can control the sound. The Whenever I'm, used, uh, I'm listening to a two-channel radio, the sound is coming from the parasound. And the results are exceptional. Okay, so definitely thumbs up using a receiver as both two-channel stereo 
and uh, home theater. Highly recommend it. We are in uh, 2020 and technology has advanced tremendously. And this has a DAC that is shooting, uh, I think it's uh, 128, uh, I don't know. But uh, th this is great. All right. So that is that.